Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me and got my six, meaning I have my back because I have yours. We're pulling for from the Intuit Oracle deck, excuse me, the Intuit Tarot deck to see where your energy is. Again, Three of Wands energy comes out manifesting your dreams and also a lack of foresight. You are having issues when it comes to seeing what it is that you're here to do. And we also have the Six of Wands, uh, pride before fall, um, giving and receiving, devoid of emotions, change your battles. And it says solar eclipse. It says big changes are coming and then a lack, la licking your wounds. Okay. Licking your wounds. So, yeah, you're questioning the foresight or you're questioning about manifesting your dreams. And uh, when it comes to personality clashes, it says contemplation, arguing, chaos, misunderstanding, oppositions, and temper, lost opportunities. So, yeah, you've been giving to a situation and it's like the Queen of Swords energy, harsh, pessimistic, critical, calculating, abrupt, gossip, scattering, easily influenced, and clouded vision. So you have been clouded in regards to how you're going to choose your battles. All of these cards come out unsure. And um, yeah, the Ten of Cups, Page of Swords, Ten of Coins, the Moon Energy, and the Knight of Wands. This one comes out kind of unsure. The Three of co uh, Coins or Three of, yeah, somebody working with you as a team. Loss of motivation, uh, not learning from the past mistakes, lack of interest, third party friction, uncommitted doing doing it alone you've been doing everything alone and that's the reason why when it comes to family ten of cups energy the disconnected family the storybook findings and also the knight of wands uh being swept off of your feet and reckless show off you know you've been dealing with a reckless show off and so the devoid of emotions when it comes to how you were giving and receiving um the pride before the fall you know the vain conceited self-centered failure disgrace narcissistic energy the show off um being a follower, e ecocentric, uh, egocentric, um, when it came to, you know, the timing, it says, um, changes are changes, changes are coming. It says timing about six months, find your inner truth, catalyst for change, transformation, cosmic triggers. And then beginning you're dealing with your, tr your triggers and licking your wounds, conflict, avoidance, compromise, backing down, making amends, live to fight another day, uh, lost cause and relent. Um, yeah, you are, doing what it takes because you're realizing that the person that you've been dealing with, um, they were playing mind games and, you know, instead of them, you know, the love of money and things like that, all of these cards are coming out unsure. This is the Knight of Coins, Knight of Pentacles energy, a lack of direction. This, um, yeah, this person has a lack of direction that they want to go in, or this could be your energy. But again, you are, when it comes to personality clashes, the five of wands, we're going to go ahead. This is conflict, competition, arguing, chaos, misunderstandings. Yeah, this comes out unsure again. When it comes to the seeking closure, yeah, uh, end of a chapter, you're trying to see if you should end this chapter when it comes to, let's deal with the three of wands, the lack of foresight or the uh, manifesting of your dreams when it comes to this love energy. The moon, the full moon is here. Illuminated subconscious, timing within a month or next full moon, emotional awareness, climax, move on, and cycles completion. Uh, yeah, you've completed the cycle when it comes to the pride before the fall, six, fall, the six of wands. You know, dealing with the narcissistic type energy, yeah, celebrating a union um, and material attachments. So this person cares about the material attachment attachments more than celebrating the union. And that's the reason why the pride before the fall accumulate scarcity mindset, hoarder, conserve, possessive creature of habit and tightwad. This person is not, you know, even though they're pulling back their, their financial constraints, the Knight of coins, all of these energies come back to where community support, united lover returns for homecoming party, celebration, and wedding. This person wants to make amends with you because they realize your generosity. Let's clarify the four of wands energy because the celebrating the unions also comes with them being a tightwad at the same time. So you're deciding and you're choosing your battles on what you want to do. Are you going to lick your wounds? Are you going to keep dealing with this? Um, yeah. King of wands, a natural born leader, somebody who is good financially getting through things, going entrepreneur, charismatic, free thinker, success, passionate, missionary, creative, and savvy. You've been dealing with this person. Yeah. But the six of coins come with the magician energy resourceful creator, but it says a pre manifester. So you're unsure on what it's going to be. If they're really going to change for you, six of coins energy uh, is what we're clarifying now, giving and receiving 
comes out with the two of coins, a balancing act. So uh, ab adaptability, prioritize and juggle back and forth, quick decisions and financial adapt. So this person is now willing to give to you and make decisions and balance out the things because your emotions are over. You're over your emotions with the queen of swords uh, based upon the queen of wands coming out, needing clarity my way or the highway or style is trans center. So you can go with the flow or you can, you know, basically, you know, choose your battles on how you want to do this. Let's clarify the queen of wands energy because it's your way or the highway. You're making the decisions now when it comes to this, this person has realized that you're not licking your wounds anymore. You're not in a point of choosing your battles. You're just saying, yeah, changing the outcome. You're changing the narrative in this situation. The nine of wands energy, ch choosing your battles out of control, being defensive, uh, retreat another trying another approach overwhelmed and not worth it you're realizing that this is not worth it and the star energy it says wish is granted so when it comes to this contentment spirituality inspiration altruistic comes out solar eclipse two of cups energy yeah so uh, a lover's exchange companion mutual feelings new partner agreement or in sync there is a new partner because in the past i'm not sure if this is a new partner or you're choosing to reconcile reconcile this energy um, agreement or being in sync now that it's been we have the years out here when it comes to the pinnacles being here let's see we have the ten of pinnacles which shows me ten years we have the three of pinnacles which shows me three years and we have the um what is this the six of coins six of pinnacles and two of coins so it could be close to eight years that this person is finally trying to come with the relationship and you're just like licking your wounds conflict avoidance you're trying to see what you should do in this situation so let's clarify the seven of wands licking your wounds yeah conflict avoidance yeah queen of Co coins energy uh tending to yourself yeah perfection is manipulative ambitious exacting possessive work from home balance imbalance self-focused and shallow and jealous yeah queen of pentacles can be toxic to herself like jds tarot says wherever he is send strength and healing to him um, and also, uh, consummate hostess, impeccable taste, business savvy, prosperous, organized, grounding, nurturing, nurturing, detail, caring, realist, and classy. You could be classy, but right now you're at this point to where you're licking your wounds and you know, you're taking care of yourself. You're not worried about this relationship. Let's clarify the world seeking closure. Yeah. It comes out with the, um, lover's energy, a union and external change, death energy, complete renewal, abrupt change, total overhaul over and out break up new start letting go endings and beginnings but the three of swords is here also deep emotional pain grief delusion delusionment sorrow depression heartbreak misunderstanding tears and loss and then it comes with the seven of cups clarity and thought focus action clear cognizance and it says seeing a clear choice con concrete decision deci decisive concrete and decisive so yeah personality classes and seeking closure you might be walking away, but it says that there's some type of union. So there could be a rebirth when it comes to this situation. Let's clarify the page of swords, ten of coins, moons, knight of coins, ten of cups, and the knight of wands, which all needs clarification because, again, the lack of direction when it comes to this person and the mind games that they play, yeah, resistant to surrender. Um, yeah, uncertainty, delay, tactics, resistance, stalling, lack of focus, and on hold. Yeah, they put you on hold for so long. Let's clarify the hangman energy. They put you on hold for so long that you're not even willing to look at this situation another uh, way unless this person comes back and is resourceful. Uh, let's clarify the hangman. And then we're going to clarify the magician that's up here clarifying the natural born leader. They can be leading, but when it comes to relationships they don't know how there's no balancing act between them and they're having to change the outcome on them on their own because you're basically at a situation to where you're tending to yourself hangman energy doesn't want to come out resisting stalling and lack of focus that makes sense why the cards don't want to come out because you have gotten to a point to where you're just tired you're tired the card flew out on the floor let me see nine of coins and the ace of coins oh boy so it looks like to me there will be a new beginning. <sighs> a risky endeavor, unstable situation delays, iron out the details, greed, caution, under review, and revise. And the nine of coins reward, rewards of your labor, status, abundance, self-sufficient, sophistication on your own, ta taking it easy, uh, matur maturation, maturation, fulfillment, and freedom. Yeah, you are rethinking this. Let's clarify this magician energy, a resourceful creator. And a pre-manifester. So this person is manifesting you back into their lives. 
Um, yeah, Eight of Coins, over and over. Yeah, over and over. That's Trey songs. We're going in circles. Uh, boring, complacent, scattered, mon monotonous. I don't know how to say that. All work, no play, repetitive, and not delivering. So let's clarify that. Yeah, overthinking over and over again. Uh, Trey songs going in circles just let went off a second ago, but you're going uh, in circles with this person. And so we're clarifying the eight of pentacles. Excuse me. Yeah, the eight of pentacles. Eight years in order to get for a time for reflection. Reflection. Ace of cups. Energy. Time and reflection. Holding back. Rep repression tune into your intuition taking care of yourself and self-love you're focusing on self-love you're tending to yourself so whatever they come through it has to be some type of balance and act because again it's your way or the highway changing the outcome they can be changing the narrative when it comes to the loving exchange but you're still skeptical when it comes to that the loss of emotion the three of coins not learning from the past mistakes lack of interest third party friction uncommitted doing it alone you were doing everything alone not working as a team we're clarifying the three of pentacles energy comes out with the king of swords mind over matter and um authoritarian so hmm, doing it by the book truth wise legal matters um rational stern precise candid detached eloquent and logic and then it has sarcastic cold controlling unbendable lack of integrity sharp drunk overpower and loose cannon this is the king of swords energy you've been dealing with the loose cannon let's clarify that and that's the reason why you're just like i'm in my own world because i know how you can be so if i try anything five of coins yeah you were left out in the cold rejection turmoil let's clarify the five of coins yeah the rejection and turmoil comes with unsure energy of the ten of swords um not by the rules and shifting the energy yeah you shift the energy five of coins energy not following through and laying the foundation yeah they didn't lay the foundation and they didn't follow through and the five of cups is insight and knowledge to know what's causing sadness Un overcoming change and overcoming despair oh excuse me unwelcome change and overcoming despair let's clarify these energies so yeah you page of wands energy page of wands comes energetic powerhouse lovable rogue yeah, you love this person. A lovable role. Come on now. Exciting plans, charismatic, good news, creative, playful, traveler, childlike, and free thinker. And then it comes with the unrequited love of the King of Cups energy. Heartbreaker, manipulative, disappointed, revoked, offers, obsessed. You're obsessed with this person, and therefore, they know how to play the games with you. But it looks like they've changed somehow. Let's pull from the um, Ascended Life Oracle to see where your energy is. It's been over and over, going in circles with this person, the 360, round and round, you know, round and round I go. Mary J. Blige, where I stop, you will never. Okay. Anyway, y'all know I can't sing, but I could have sung Tevin Cannibal's Round and Round. Strip for You is on by R. Kelly. But Mary J. Blige came out. Yeah, Ghosting and Reconciliation. Sudden Disappearing Act, Cutting Off All Communication, Feeling Rejected, Dealing with a Lack of Closure. Yeah, Reconciliation, Restoration of Former Connections, Apology slash Forgiveness, Trying Again in a Different Way, Round and Round conversations and potential you've seen the potential in this person a long time ago the unrequited love is somebody that you really love and want to be with new business uh requiring hard work ideas have potential for growth your investments paying off a, a stable business steadily growing so i think the way that this is going to happen happen is that this is a businessman i can tell that this is a businessman this business person shall i say man or woman is all about the numbers numbers lie what do they uh people lie something something but numbers don't lie this is their saying their business all day and so you have to deal with this person in a business mind uh when it comes to how they do things the ethical way of doing things and you're in your queen of swords so you uh, excuse me your queen of coins energy so you're a perfectionist when it comes to tending to yourself but you have taken time out for this person to do something different and so therefore you guys have to be all business when it comes to these relationships this is the reason why the love of money is here this is the reason why the nine of coins are here all of the coins are here ace of coins energy a risky risky endeavor they're only going to deal with you when it comes to business in a relationship that's what the reconciliation is going to be about all business and there's going to be a little love in here they're going to try to do something a little bit different the apology is not going to happen the way you want it to be it's going to be like let's go on this business trip let's buy these cars together let's do this and you're like i'm not into the material things like that but yeah self-sufficient you guys are both self-sufficient and you thrive for different things they thrive on material you thrive on 
just having things and being able to be stable. But the reconciliation is going to come after you ghost this person and start working on your business. They're going to come back around and see that your business savvy, savvier than what they thought in the beginning, because now you're doing things. Holla if you need me is on my Trey songs. Now you're doing things in a business manner. They're actually seeing that you were working on yourself. This comes in the reverse homelessness. Yeah. At one point you were having, you were having heart overhead decisions because you were putting all your energy into this person, which caused you a financial lack. And so now that they see you back on your page or back on your, your horse, they're going to be like, Oh, cancer is the person that I can do this together with, but they're still fearful over, uh, yeah. Read the five print. Yeah. They're going to always read the five print. And so are you now moving forward because it's a 50, 50 exchange It's business. It's not an equal give or take. It's not a uh, give all and give all to the situation unworthy of your time. The universe might be saying that to you. Luck, luck, love, luck, luck and luxury. Yeah. And inheritance. Yeah. They only care about the fine print, but what you want is the foundation. So when it comes into that, you're going to have to make this a business situation. Use financial foresight, make enlightenment decisions and form decisions. This is going to have to be business. If you want this person to build a foundation with you, you're going to set this up as a business contract. You see the potential in this person and all of the things and that they're scared to be without, to have lack. And so therefore the fine print is what they're going to look at at the end of the day. Uh, people lie, whatever it says, Jay-Z says, but numbers don't lie. They're into the fine print, multiple streams of income. This is what you've been practicing and what you've been working on. Uh, through over over the time period of you being away from this person. And so now they're seeing that you can have your cake and eat it too, but it's all about the fine print. At first you were just like, love, love, love. And this person is not a loving type of person when it comes to that. They'll love you the more they feel like you're able to be stable for them. I don't know. It makes no sense, but this is how people are, especially when it comes to business. This is why people don't settle down. But here's the thing. Licking your wounds and tending to yourself is what got this person to come back around. But now you're going to expect this energetic powerhouse because they are coming back around. But they're not going to give you the love that you want to receive. They're going to give you a business type of love love which is okay for you because it's about love and um that's what you want but again you're gonna have to decipher what it is that you want let's pull from the honest love tarot deck to see what comes out because it's gonna be hard it's gonna be a hard pill to swallow when it comes to what it is i'm gonna go over here and get my maruk x finance deck and then just pull a couple of cards for the honest love tarot because this person is all about business again the relationship you know, it's not going to ever be able to be something more than, no, no, no. I'm saying that wrong. It's going to be a relationship, but it's about, yep, here it is. It's about authority, career, discipline, and traditions. Sacral chakra. See, the sacral chakra is your emotions, your intimacy, and your confidence. You have to be confident in the situation. There is no way that you can have a lack of confidence dealing with this person. This person loves with money. This person loves with money. This person loves with contracts. This is what the self-expression is going to have to be, your sexuality, your creativity, and your self-expression. When it comes to the way that you love, the intimacy is through money, through them, but the way that you love is going to be a little bit different. You're going to have to change the outcome, regeneration of a relationship, make a comeback, reconcile over it, repair or move on, one of the two. And they're going to realize that they were so wrong because you're able to have multiple streams of income. They only can have one. You're able to be a master of all, you know, and it was a jack of all trades, master of none. No, it's a master of all. You're going to be able to be and do with their support, you know, with their financial, mental, energetic support. They're going to push you to be and do the things that you want to do. You're not going to be homeless. <laughs> You're not going to be self-sufficient anymore. You guys are going to have to come together as a cohesive unit. Let me get the money deck. Hold on one second. Let me get that. And that way we can look at it in a different light. Hold on. Okay. So Meek Mill, my, my battery on my um, mouse is going dead. So Meek Mill, uh, whatever you need. And Chris Brown and Ty Dolla Sign is on. So they love with money. They love with money. And so this is the money deck and this is the manifesting of money and lack and things like that. So we're going to pull from that. Yeah. Offering the universe will meet. I'm not taking all those cards. The universe will meet all your needs. Consider having money and money altar. Call upon the spirit guides and angels to assist you during this time. Yeah, this is going to be hard. You're going to have to take a risk. It says calculated risk. It says taking a calculated risk is sometimes necessary in order to advance. Have the courage to face the fears, uncertainty, 
Uh, don't focus on the outcome. The odds are better than you think. And it goes, don't let the world lead you. Take the steering wheel and take control of your life. This would be a good time to write down your goals and aspirations. Focus on creating and managing a budget. You have to do that in order for this person to see what, what your true, to say that they were wrong. Setbacks, yeah. Your attempts to increase your income has been largely unsuccessful. This financial setback is for, forcing you to get more organized with your finances. Don't lose hope. Use this time to learn from your mistakes. So investments, finances are looking good and growing. This is a great time to invest. Set strong foundations and you will see the fruits of your labor again. That's why they're going to realize that they were so wrong. Once you start working on yourself. Now, this is from um, the Midnight Oracle, Manifest Success and the Money Blocks. And then I don't know what this one is, but um, I'm going to go ahead and pull from here. I put all three of them together. But this is how this person is going to learn to respect you. I'm sorry. That's just how... This person is they they went with lack childhood lack that's how i feel like they could have experienced homelessness at one point or some type of lack when it came to yeah the way money can't buy love you know that but at some point this person is that's what they love renewal you need to take the time to recharge your energy to get back on track challenges ahead require you to have faith and and a breakthrough so again the potential in this person is all because of the investments that they took and bad to have. It says greed isn't what it's about. Be happy with money. I embrace having money. And that's what you do. But they are greedy. And so the face. Money, skills, investor, taking risk, face value, career, self-made, fame, exposure, and reputation. Their reputation and can't buy love. Uh, it says you are more valuable than money. You deserve love. I am worthy of real love. So I'm saying to you that if this is what you want, this person, whoever this person is, they love with money. They love with money. You see the potential in them and the Knight of Cups energy, unrequited love. You know, they they have a lot of a lot of things to offer to the world. But again, when you tend to yourself and start to get to this point to where they're realizing because you're investing in yourself, they're realizing that they were wrong about you. I was wrong. And you have multiple streams of income. They only have one. You can show them something, but they have to see it first. That's just what I'm going to say. Let's pull from the crystal deck. I mean, this has been a round and round circle. This person loves with money. This person loves with money. This person likes nice things. This person thinks Dawn is owned by Trace, uh, by uh, Bryson Tiller. Yeah, be impeccable with your words. Say what you want, mean what you say. Um, manifest your intentions. If you want money, manifest them. It says, regardless of what language you speak, your intent will manifest through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be Will all be manifested through words so say what you want mean what you say and that's just kind of how i see that but this person is going to come back around but are they going to come back around and say i was so wrong no they're not they're going to come back around and see you on your shit now do you feel do you feel some kind of way because they couldn't see you uh in a in a way of in the beginning you know but how do you feel about that you have to ask yourself like that can you live like that can you live with this person loving you because you have created something that you already were able to you were trying to work as a team and have a balancing act and be adaptable to do the things that they want but the back and forth of this person is like a lot and so again this is this is a business this is a business relationship it can be more but it'll base be based upon what you guys can do together and how you guys can grow you're the one that's going to have to read between the line and have the fine print of how the foundation is going to work down the line that's what it is so the tangerine courts root sacral and solar plex chakra understanding acceptance and growth i mean i can't put that anyway um the ability to be stable hold on one second my mom is calling me to check on me okay sorry about that so yeah i just believe that that's that but the the understanding acceptance and growth the root chakra root chakra is your ability to survive to be stable and to ground yourself you love this person this person you let this person come back and forth back and forth it sounds crazy it's been over eight years maybe close to ten now you're finally after the eighth year you decided to work on yourself eight of pentacles because it's here eight of pentacles is working on yourself you decided to work on yourself and to have multiple streams of income to renew yourself and to just you know trust in yourself and to invest in yourself and that's tending to yourself and that's seeing the potential in yourself and also understanding that this person's unrequited love for you is because they're afraid to love in lack and that's just that and uh, you know hey to each his own it may make sense it may not make sense but 
It does. So sacral chakra is your emotions, your intimacy and confidence. Be confident in loving yourself and tending to yourself and the way that you want to be loved. The, the, the balancing act, the adaptability, the prioritizing, the juggling, the back and forth, the quick decisions, financial debt. This makes you nervous. This makes you nervous and all uneasy. And the ten of swords energy changing the outcome is where you are going to understand how you can work with this person as a cohesive unit, or you won't not. You might not be able to. This might be all about business for you. This might not be a relationship. This might be about you making the financial investments. But right now, it looks like this person loves with money, and they're going to realize that they were wrong when it came to you. So you're going to show them better than you can tell them. The solar plex chakra is your optimism, clarity, and taking your personal power back. That's what this is about: understanding, acceptance, and growth. It says, I release all judgment so that I may grow spiritually. This person judged you in regards to your finances because you had a hard spell. But your hard spell came because you were trying to make decisions and be adaptable for them and prioritize and juggle your life and go back and forth and make these quick decisions. And you were financial adept because you were trying to be their everything and they only know about money. So I don't know. Let's go ahead and let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.